The Public Library Survey, also referred to as the PLS or Annual Public Library Statistics, examines when, where, and how library services are changing to meet the needs of the public. These data, supplied annually by public libraries across the country, provide information that policymakers and practitioners can use to make informed decisions about the support and strategic management of libraries. In Montana, the PLS is also required under administrative rule and the essential public library standards. From this tutorial, you will learn the public library survey timeline, examples of practical applications, and how to navigate the public library survey dashboard. The PLS timeline runs the entire year. While data is generally submitted in the fall, directors and their staff will be responsible for collecting data throughout the state fiscal year, which runs July 1st through June 30th. Survey updates. From year to year, most questions stay the same. However, as this is a national data set, questions may change over time to fit the needs of the Institute of Museum and Library Services, also referred to as IMLS. Occasionally, Montana State Library will collect new information to address a research question. The State Data Coordinator will supply advance notice to libraries of new questions, typically at Spring Federation meetings or during the month of June. The Montana State Library website also maintains a list of questions and their related definitions, which can be referenced at any time. Pre-collection training. Library staff receive training related to the public library survey prior to the survey opening in October. Training sessions may occur at fall workshops or through online office hours. The state data coordinator will also send information to the library director via email. Data submission. Directors or their designee receive login information to complete the survey the first week of October and responses will be due by the end of November. Throughout this period, the data coordinator will distribute reminders and answer questions as needed. Data preparation. After submission, the data are processed and prepared for submission to our federal partners. During this time, the data coordinator may request additional information or corrections from the director. Data vetting. Once submitted to the federal government, their contractors will read through the data for validation. This sometimes triggers additional questions that will be passed on to the director. Data certification. After addressing any questions during the vetting process, the state librarian certifies the results and the data coordinator posts preliminary data to the dashboard. New national data sets are also loaded at this time. The public library survey can help inform important decisions about the library. The data set is useful for both benchmarking and trend analysis. Benchmarking is a tool of strategic management that allows you to set goals based on how your library performs in comparison to others. For example, you can use data to see if your library's collection development expenditures are consistent with other libraries serving similarly sized communities. Trend analysis looks for a pattern or trend in performance across years and agencies. For example, you might evaluate how key measures such as library visits, program attendance, or circulation have changed over time. You can look at this information in context. For example, did circulation go up when the library also increased public access hours? Beyond performative data, directors and trustees use the numbers to build a persuasive story about the value of libraries to share with decision makers and vested partners. This information, paired with other data sources and patron use examples, can help demonstrate the library's role in the community. What stories can the data help quantify? A good place to start is brainstorming what matters most to your stakeholders. For example, Internet access might be a critical topic. Did you know in fiscal year 2022, Montanans visited the library for 1.5 million Wi-Fi sessions? Over the past five years, Wi-Fi sessions have more than doubled. 
This information was harvested from the PLS. When paired with data from the census about household internet subscriptions and stories from library users, you can start to communicate how the library plays a vital role on a topic your partners care about, such as digital access. Next, we will learn how to navigate the dashboard to find data on circulation, collections, revenue, expenditures, personnel, programs, services, and technology. You can review PLS data using the State Library's Public Library Survey Dashboard. To access the dashboard, first navigate to msl.mt.gov. Scroll to the bottom of the page to select Dashboards. MSL maintains numerous dashboards about library programs and performance. In this case, you will want to select the Public Libraries Survey. You have multiple options for exploring the data. The first option, Montana PLS Dashboard, is specifically curated for Montana libraries and will include the most recently available data for the state. The next three options are maintained by the Institute of Museum and Library Services and will include data, documentation, and research files relevant to the entire national data set dating back to 1992. Let's select Montana PLS Dashboard. The landing page defaults to the fiscal year with the most recent national comparative data. At the time of recording this tutorial, fiscal year 2020 is the most recently released national data set from IMLS. However, as you can see in the note at the bottom of the page, the dashboard also includes preliminary data from Montana. Preliminary data has been collected and certified, but not released by IMLS yet. You can navigate the dashboard using the menu at the top of the page. Filters below the menu will allow you to interact with the dashboard, for example, to change the year or the measures depicted. At any time, you can export the view on screen using the dashboard controls. Export options include image, crosstab, PDF, or PowerPoint. Next, I will walk you through each of the menu options. The first default dashboard is the state snapshot. The state snapshot provides totals, state per capita, national per capita, and state per capita rank for key measures, including registered users, library visits, reference transactions, total circulation, total programs, total program attendance, computer users, and Wi-Fi sessions. The map at right uses color intensity to show county performance. Hovering over the county or an individual library will reveal a tooltip with additional information. By default, we are examining total operating revenue. To change the measure, use the filter above the map. The second dashboard features a library snapshot. While the previous window displayed data in aggregate for the whole state, this dashboard focuses on a single library at a time. However, the dashboard focuses on similar key measures. This time, we see how the library ranks in comparison to other libraries in the state. The green hue indicates the rank falls in the upper half of state performance. As on the state snapshot, you can change the map focus using the filter at top. To export this entire view, to include an abort packet or similar report, try using the export for PowerPoint option. Leave the settings as this view and click download.
The third dashboard provides charts for comparison across years. The top bar chart looks at the total or sum, while the bottom bar chart examines the data at the per capita level. Of note, the bottom chart also includes the state per capita for the selected measure. It runs as an area chart in the background for comparison. The fourth dashboard includes a library comparison. Both the libraries and measures compared can be controlled using the filters at top. Selecting a library name from the crosstab view will highlight it both on the map and in the chart for easy identification. The fifth dashboard is like the last, but instead provides a national comparison. While Montana and its bordering states are selected, you can choose other states for comparison. As before, selecting a state in the cross tab will highlight it on the map and in the chart. The final dashboard includes a cross tab view of selected data tables. This information is best used for export if you want to run your own analysis or create additional charts. To add additional years or to select a specific table or library, use the filter at top. This concludes the Public Library Survey Dashboard Tutorial. For assistance regarding the dashboard, please contact the Montana State Library Data Coordinator.